there are people around who help us. If we're hurt or in harm's way, like nurses or like doctors, the police, the fire brigade, but they can't be with us everywhere, like the park or the museum, or at your school or on holiday, we very rarely see them. So you need to know a thing or three about keeping safe and sound, just in case things do go wrong, in case help just can't be found. Hi there, I'm Jo Fitzgerald. I'm a teacher, an author. I write blogs and articles for various publications. I also advise parents on all things learning and development for their young children. Um, and in particular, how to teach resilience and emotional well-being skills. When I see blanket news coverage of things like terrorist events or the Grenfell Tower disaster, I ask myself, how much are our young children seeing? How much are they hearing? And how is this affecting them? That's why I've written my new book called How to Keep Safe in a Sometimes Scary World. It's for parents of children aged between four and nine, um, and it helps open up those really difficult conversations around these events like terrorism, house fire, and getting lost. I know that when we talk to each other about these things, when we ask questions, uh, when we open up as a family, we talk about what worries us. And when we make plans and we know what to do around these events, it makes us feel safer. It makes us feel less scared as a family. These videos highlight some of the problems that could impact us. And the book is for you parents to read with your children. It guides you on how to talk about these things. Uh, it helps you all know what to do to make plans and to be less worried. And to help you feel safer together as a family. So click the button below to watch the next short video.